bright green room, there was a telephone and a red balloon, and a picture of the cow jumping over the moon. And there were three little bears sitting in the chair. Hey all, so I was at Savers, which is a new store to me, and I found this Goodnight Moon thing, which I'm sure we all remember from our childhood. And it turns out that you can actually do a recording here. So these are, of course, batteries, which I hope this thing still works. There's basically one of the batteries busted in here, so there's all sorts of junk in here, so I gotta clean these contacts and basically just hope that it works. Uh, I'm gonna go to lock because that means, I think anyway, that that means to lock the recording. And I'm hoping uh, that I won't reset any memories. I'm hoping maybe, or any internal memory here. Uh, all like one megabyte or whatever. <laughs> because I want to hoping that there's somebody else's voice on here. So I'm going to clean these contacts and see what happens. Okay, so I've cleaned the contacts and I cleaned the battery compartment as well as I could. And now we're going to get out our handy dollar store super heavy duty double A's and put these guys in. What's fun is now they don't do this, but back then they used to make it rather obvious where each pole went. And now in modern devices, I don't even see this spring anymore. Uh, oops, just dropped that one. Nice. Okay, so this is plus there. That shall be minus. Oh, do I have the wrong size? These guys take... Okay, nice. So I guess they take AAA, which I have plenty of. Okay, so same dollar store brand. And let's see if these guys go in. So that was plus minus, right? So plus is the right side. So there's that. Kind of weary of this thing, because it's kind of loose. But it is just a contact, so maybe it doesn't matter. I don't know. Um, obviously not ideal conditions. Doing that right? I am. Uh, not ideal conditions, because rather old. How old? I don't know. I would guess at least the 90s. Uh, so let's see. So that would be a plus. Is this right? It is. Look at that. My instincts work today. So just for giggles and for um, vanity, I'm just going to put this vanity plate back in. I was hoping that this would be grandma's story or you know what I mean like uh, grandma's voice would still be on here or something it looks pretty okay so I don't really know to record we switch to unlock position okay can we play maybe the two to record to record no we switch to unlock position I am so pumped that this thing works so all right, let's just, I guess I'm just going to place the plate there. Oh nice, it's still in the lock position. So I am gonna hit unlock. There we go. And I'm gonna hit this. Yeah, it does nothing. Ooh, look at that sophisticated microphone right there, my goodness. Record stop. Huh. Oh right, I forgot the play is the book. Okay, so I'm putting this back into lock mode. Maybe Grandma's voice is still here. Come on, Grandma. Click in the great green room, there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of the cow jumping over the moon. And there were three little bears sitting in the chair. Oh my gosh. Dude. <laughs> pick an easier book the, the, I think a little girl said wow this is awesome I was good night room good night moon good night oh. 
good night chairs, good night bears, like good night balloon. So I think what's happening is um, the internal memory here is limited, so it's cutting off pages, you know, because uh, look at it, this particular page, you know, should take maybe 20 seconds to read, they're, they're barely even, I mean, maybe it's two sentences, right? So here you can see these little dots, and I don't know this for sure, but I think there's some kind of sensor on the other end, and that's how it knows what page to play. So when there's the four dots, or uh, what page, really what part of the recording to play, when there's four dots, it tells us that it's on what page, and you know, five dots on this page, and so on. Yeah, nothing. So I think this may be mom's voice. <laughs> okay. Nothing. And is that the end? That's the end. Okay, so I can't get into here. Like this page doesn't turn. So yeah, so underneath this must be some kind of a sensor. Uh that's that's sensing what page I'm on. It, it may even just have to do... Yeah, look, see, here you go. Maybe it has to do with those holes being covered up. I don't know. So let's see if I can play it backwards. This is so cool that the original voices are on here. I can't play it backwards. <clears throat> oh! That was interesting. It plays. Oh, now it's recalling the wrong. Good night, room. Good night, room. Good night, Oh, it's so cute. I wish. I wish this was in fact. As usual, I didn't read the directions. <laughs> um, and of course, you're supposed to remove after this purchase so that way the kid doesn't know how to do this right because kids can read too uh yeah so here's the first direction that the lady who did this did not follow find a quiet place to record not with your kid <laughs> make sure you're recording in a well-lit area oh so that's interesting okay all right nice so it works somehow by uh light sensing that's crazy um, your recording will not be erased when you change the batteries. That's good. See, I was concerned about that, and now I don't have to worry. Thank you, book. Uh, to reset and erase all recordings, unscrew the battery compartment and slide the switch to unlock. Record and stop for four seconds. This will erase all recorded audio. Okay, um, so, note, this equipment has been listed, blah, 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 FCC. I just cannot find copyright hallmark. A date on this? Which is weird because I would think. Oh, and of course I can't. Oh, you're supposed to remove this jacket. All right, cool. So the good news is, the jacket you don't have to cut it off. You can just pull it off like that. I'm hoping that I can just expose enough. Um, I don't, I have no idea what the value is on this. Probably nothing. Um, but I'm hoping to expose enough to get the information I'm interested in. Whoa. Okay, so renewed in 1975. Uh, okay, so, so, oh, this edition published in 2011. Wow. Uh, so this book is only 12 years old. That's crazy. Uh, which makes sense. I was wondering why it uses the, um, these particular batteries they just they don't put out that much power so I was surprised I thought this was like maybe from the 90s or something but I was uh, 20 years off but yeah everything seems to age the same way right <laughs> in the great green room there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of the cow jumping over the moon and there were three little bears sitting okay so I don't see the bears I see a rabbit in a bed. Is there a rabbit in a bed here? There was a telephone. Uh, 
there, there is a telephone. There's a red balloon. Look, there's the red balloon children. And a picture of a cow. Oh, it's a picture of the cow jumping over when I wasn't paying enough attention, Mama. Okay, so let's see page two. I love that one. Oh man. So yeah, um, I bought this at Savers, I think, for uh, $2.99. Sorry, $1.29. So this is awesome. Um, I don't really think I'm ever going to record over this just because of the precious memories in it, as short as they are. Um, or maybe I will uh, record, you know, I, I, I guess I probably will, but I think I'm going to, you know, at least get this on a better audio. I'm going to record this on a better audio quality than just my phone, you know. Um, and then we will explore how to record with it. Until the conclusion of this episode.